Let's look at adding and subtracting. So if you don't have access to a calculator, you are going to need a written method. And for adding and subtracting, it's called the column method. So all we need to do is put one number on top of the other, two, three, four on top, one, five, three underneath. We could write it the other way around because two, three, four plus one, five, three is exactly the same as one, five, three plus two, three, four. And now it's just a question of adding each column. Four plus three is seven, three plus five is eight, 2 plus 1 is 3, so the answer is 387. Let's look at the second example. There's something slightly different here. 465 on the top, 192 on the bottom. Of course, you can do it the other way around if you want. 5 plus 2 is 7. Now, this is where things are slightly different because 6 plus 9 is 15, which is a two-digit number. I'm just going to write 15 over here. and um, You don't need to write this number uh, to the side. Now, this number here is what I'm going to write underneath the line. And this number here, I'm going to carry over to the next column. I, I put the one here. Some people put it up here. It doesn't really matter. Now it's four plus one plus the one you carried over. Four plus one is five plus one is six. So the answer is 657. Now this final example, uh, there's a reason I've show, uh, I'm doing this one extra example here is because we've got a three digit number and a two digit number. You need to line them up from the right hand side. So the five of the 56 needs to go under the eight, not under the one, because this five is in the tens column and this eight is in the tens column. And again, as before, seven plus six is 13. So that's three, carry one. Eight plus five is 13, plus one is 14. So that's four, carry one. One plus the one is two. So the answer is 243. With subtracting, first of all, it's really important that the number you're subtracting from goes on top. So that's usually a bigger number and the number you're taking away goes underneath. Again, all we're going to do now is just do subtraction down each column. Four minus three is one. Nine minus five is four. Two minus one is one. So that is one, four, one. In the next example, 427 minus 109. We've got a bit of an issue here because seven minus nine can't be done. Nine is bigger than seven. Now I know a lot of people will be tempted to write a two in here, but nine minus seven is two and we are subtracting nine from seven. We're doing seven minus nine. Now we can't write a negative number here either. So what we need to do is we need to borrow from the column to the left. So we're gonna take 10 from here. So this two becomes one and the this seven will now become a 17. 17 take away nine, now that can be done, that's eight. One minus zero is one, four minus one is three, so the answer 318. Let's look at this next example. Here we've got a four digit number and a three digit number, so we need to make sure that they're lined up from the right hand side. So the eight needs to go under the two, not under the one. So again, we've got that same issue. Two minus four cannot be done. 2 minus 4 is not 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, and we're doing 2 minus 4. So this 3 is going to become a 2, so that this 2 can now become a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8, 2 minus 6, again we've got that same problem again, so we need to borrow from the column to the left, the 2 becomes 1, and this 2 becomes a 12. 12 minus 6 is 6, 1 minus 8 can't be done, at this stage, seeing as there's only one other one more column, we can just combine these to just say, what's 11 take away eight, which is three. But if you like, one can become a zero. And then this one here can become an 11, 11 minus eight. Well, that was the calculation we were thinking about a minute ago. 11 minus eight is three. So the answer is three, six, eight. And on this final example, eight, seven, zero, four, just want to show you what happens when there's a zero involved. Again, making sure everything's lined up from the right hand side. Four minus six can't be done. So usually we would borrow from the column to the left, but this column is completely empty. So first of all, we need to fill this column. And the only way we can do that is by borrowing from the column to the left of that. So this seven is gonna go down one to become a six so that this zero can become a 10. And now so that we can do four minus six, we're gonna to have to re take from this column here. So 10 becomes a nine and the four becomes a 14. 14 minus six, that can be done, that's eight. Nine minus three is six. Six minus nine can't be done. We could do 86 minus nine, but how about let's take turn the eight into a seven. Six becomes a 16. 
16 take away 9 is 7, and 7 minus nothing is 7. So the answer is 7, 7, 6, 8. So if you're borrowing from a column where there's a zero, you need to top this column up first by borrowing from the column to the left of that, and then you can borrow from here so that you can do your original calculation. A bit of practice, you'll soon be up to speed on that, I'm sure. We can check our calculations. Um, so 156 minus 42, it's a fairly simple calculation. I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't check it. I'm pretty confident though. Um, six take away two is four, five minus four is one, one minus nothing is one. So what I can do to check uh, that I've got this right is just reverse the question. So if 156 take away 42 is 114, then 114 plus 42 should equal 156. Let's, let's just check that. Four plus two is six. One plus four is five. One plus nothing is one. So yes, we've definitely got this answer correct. 236 plus 82. Six plus two is eight. Three plus eight is 11. So that's one carry one. Two plus one is three. So if 236 plus 82 is 318, we can test this by doing 318 take away 82 and that should equal 236 or I could do 318 take away 236 to see if it equals 82. So 8 minus 2 is 6, 1 minus 8 can't be done, 3 becomes a 2, 1 becomes an 11, 11 take away 8 is 3, 2 minus nothing is 2 so that we know we've got it right. Personally it might be a good idea to check your subtraction by doing some adding but probably not a great idea to check your adding by doing subtraction because taking away is much harder than adding and if you're not confident you've got your adding right then it's probably not a good idea to use a harder skill to test it but you can do it if you want to.